G'day, it's Bob here again. You might remember me from such projects as the uh, Dick Smith Electronics ESR meter and the relatively recent Blue 2 ring tester, which is microcontroller based. After I designed the Blue 2 ring tester, which is based on a PIC microcontroller, I started wondering if it's possible to make a similar sort of a thing but just using ordinary components which anyone can buy and this is the result of it after some more designing and stuff Oops. <laughs> there it is, that's the basic ring tester that's the innards of it obviously you can see a more comprehensive description of how ring testers work on my other YouTube video of the Blue 2 ring tester. But I'll just give a brief demonstration here. What we've got here is a iron powder 100 microhenry um, power inductor. Um, and I've got a bit of solder looped through it which can demonstrate a shorter turn like that. Now, turning our attention to what the ring tester is actually saying and what the oscilloscope over there is actually showing, uh, have a look at what happens when you short the shorted turn. It drops dramatically and there's just a few rings. And that is how you can pick a crook inductor. This um, basic tester basically performs pretty much the same as the um, Blue 2 micro based one with a few differences. It's bigger, runs on an expensive 9 volt battery and um, generally the readings are pretty, pretty much the same as I can demonstrate here, I hope. So there's my little power inductor. Here it is on the uh, basic one. Virtually the same reading. Um, yeah, the uh, but the basic one doesn't have the crazy uh, whirly gig pattern. It doesn't turn itself off, and um, it's got an awful lot of more components in it than what the micro-based one has. Personally, I would recommend that you go for the blue two. Uh, micro based one which is available on the EVB website um, I'm going to put or I already have put all the information on the basic one on my own website there's a zip file there containing all the PCB information the schematic uh, how to use it uh, how it works uh, photos of the board so if you can go to my website um, which I'll try to list beneath this video you can find out all about it. The uh, zip file is a bit over 2 megabytes in size. So as usual, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.